we get onto the daily time frame. Using the daily bias method, we are clearly bearish. As you can see, the swing high is protected over there with an invalidation line. On the four hour, we are bullish though. So what it's signaling to me is that although we are bearish on the daily, there might be a reason for us to actually go and target a swing high right there. But my swing range on the four hour is this. We have a swing high right there and a swing low right there. So my whole range was from here all the way to there. So we are currently um, at the time of the London session today. So right there, we were currently in a premium on the four hour. So good for sales, which also aligns with our daily bias. So there's that going for it. Plus there's some areas we could actually come down into for the four hour. So this order block, for example, right here, and also this imbalance before we could potentially go to the upside. So that's what my mindset was on the one hour. Let me just delete this in terms of clutter. On the one hour, uh, we had news at 2 a.m. So I was trading after news. And let me just delete that. That was the trade. But this was my one hour trading range. Was it this? Uh, this? No. Okay. This was my one hour trading range right here. So my whole range was this. So we're currently in a premium around here as well and a discount. So in terms of unmitigated areas to buy from, I wanted to buy from, say, this imbalance right here areas like that so i want price to come down here into a discount which would be trading in line with the one hour time frame which is bullish and the four hour time frame but it would be neglecting the daily but since we're you know looking at intraday trading moves it's not that important to take the whole daily candle because you can still get your two or three r in a uh, session move for example the london session so that's what i was looking at and right here if I drop down to the 15, 30 minute, just delete this. We had the Asian range, as you guys know. So this was my Asian high. And we had a really nice unmitigated, untapped into order block right here. So this was perfect. Opening price is here. So nothing to worry about that. We're definitely above it. If we're selling, we're in a premium and um, it's an unmitigated area. And we're in line with the daily buy. So we have some um, good confluence. On our side so coming into session what did we see two o'clock started right here so if i wanted to buy i wanted to see us tap into these areas um, because everything here was already mitigated so then we tapped into this order block so immediately i jumped down to the one minute time frame and this is what i was looking at so we had a sweep of liquidity right here liquidity right there another sweep of liquidity right here and then if you look on this this is actually another tip i've learned if you change it to line you can see exactly where the swing lows are so this i looked at is a break of structure so this is my break of structure line right there i'll just make it dark so it's easy for easy for you to see i'll just delete this but this was my break of structure line right there so when we initially had this, I wasn't really looking at it because it's not showing me that much momentum. But then we were showing some more, more momentum. Plus we disrespected this fair value gap right there. And um, there wasn't much more imbalances to tap into. So I was pretty confident that we are going to go down. So now one break of structure there and then plus some further momentum. So this was the imbalance which I was looking at. Right there in imbalance and took an entry right there with a this is a very tight stop loss so mine was five pip minimum just to give some breathing room and then for target projections we can have this from this swing to the swing so it's giving around here which is not that much it's not even a one uh, risk to reward so i just extended to two because i know we are in line with the daily bias so i extended this to two and then, yeah, we got tagged in right there. Then I was looking for another break of structure. So we had one there. This is my first break of structure. Now I was looking for another one. So something like this for my second break of structure. 
and yeah there we go so now i'm officially at break even and i've locked in 10 percent partial profits so now it's a risk-free trade and then we almost came up and almost came to my break even part but didn't actually come to break even and then we just went down and eventually just plummeted because there was news all day there wasn't news um shown at this time but um clearly there was something big that happened so there was news which pushed it down to a one to two and that was essentially the trade recap so hope you got some value out of it hope you enjoyed and happy trading stay safe i'll see you in the next one